Hey everyone, this is going to be my first in a series of uh, tutorials about BlueCat's new plugin, the Axiom, which is specifically tailored for us guitar players. That plugin is of course very easy to use um, compared with a lot of uh, amp simulators that offer the same possibilities which is almost endless and uh, to begin that series I wanted to address the almighty plexi sound course the uh, vintage British sound that we hear on countless rock, hard rock, glam rock or even uh, early heavy metal records and obviously what better guitar to use that with than the almighty Les Paul. I'm gonna play three different sounds with the same guitar, talk a little bit about how I chose them and programmed them and then at the end I'll play a full song featuring the three different sounds used in context. This first sound is the trebliest of all. This is going to be the attack and the edge of our sound. And um, to complement it, I'll use a way darker sound for the second sound. For this first sound, I'm going to be using the low gain Brits sound, which is a vintage Marshall kind of sounds like a blues breaker or a JTM. The drive will be at 2.5, so pretty low, not really distorted. The bass at zero, so not as cut as you'd expect it to be, but obviously not very boosted. The mids, on the other hand, will be boosted by 12 dB, so that's going to be a very big boost. So uh, I'm going to back up the volume so that it doesn't distort. The tone will be at... 0.25, so not so trebly, but the treble will be at minus one, which is already very high for uh, what it is. And as a master effect, I'm going to be using a little bit of reverb, just a touch of reverb. So I'll leave the uh, default settings, but just back up the wet at 30% so that it doesn't get overwhelming. This second sound is way darker, um, woolier if you want to use uh, fancy words and uh, the attack is a little dimmed and the uh, gain is slightly more pushed. For that second sound I'm going to go into clean presets and dig out the uh, breed clean 4x12 so I can get the huge power of a clean plexi, slightly drive it but really slightly cut off the mids or at least don't boost them leave the treble like this it sounds great enough back up the tone a little bit so that it gets a little darker push up the volume to compensate for the fact that the mids aren't boosted contrary to the first preset and then i'm going to add a slight crunch in order to boost the input of the amp I'll leave the drive at 2 so that it gets slightly distorted but not too much and put the tone on 5 to uh, make it pretty dark. 
and plus 8 of gain so the inputs really get slammed and produces some uh, big woolly distortion in the process. <laughs> That last sound is going to be the solo sound and I'm going to use a Wawa stuck in a particular position to enhance certain mid-range frequencies and two different amps, one for the trebly attack and another one for the creamier sustain which is obviously going to be more distorted than the first one. For this last sound I'm going to be using two different sounds in parallel. The first one will be from the Crunch library and is called Bright Brit 4x12. I'm going to use it for the attack, so not too much gain for a solo sound that is, so plus 8 of gain, drive at 3 only. Uh, bass will stay at plus 0, mids slightly boosted, plus 3 dB, treble will be plus 10, very trebly edgy sound. The tone is at 0, 5, so very trebly too, and I'll back up the volume so that it doesn't overwhelm the second sound. The second sound, so I'll activate the B circuit. This will be Brit 800 4x12, so the good old JCM 800. Drive is 7.7, .7, so very distorted, especially compared with the other sound. Don't forget to put the mix in between or else you're only going to be hearing one of the two sounds. The bass stays the same. The mids plus six, so always boosted. The treble zero, so trebly two. Tone stays there and volume stays there. Um, I'm just going to add some echo to the general sounds, not only one of the two sounds. Mix will be 25%, feedback will be 20%, so quite a lot of feedback, and around 250, so I get a echoey ambient sound, and the input is going to be treated to a fixed wah-wah, so this is in built-in EQ and filters, wah, deactivate the auto wah, and um, choose your frequency here depending on the position of your wah-wah. Obviously the wah model will be crying wah, which is uh, an obvious hint to a wah-wah we all know and use. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Here they are, the three sounds in the context of a song. Enjoy. Enjoy. 